FMU, you're on the air. Tommy. Yeah. Mac. Oh, hey, Mac. How are you? Yeah, I couldn't call last week. I was detained. Oh, don't worry. We, we didn't miss you. What? That's cold. Ah, it's kind of more just true than cold. <laughs> um, I still have the Aerosmith thing. Oh, that's right. You were going to tell us about rock music. Yeah. I actually have this whole book um, on heavy metal. Stop. I, I no, a... you don't. You yeah, do. You do not. The, uh, it's in the Encyclopedia of Heavy Metal by uh, Daniel... How is it pronounced? Buck Zapan. It was a forward by uh, Ronnie James Dio. You are a liar. I bought it from Barnes & Noble. You're a liar. Admit you made that book up. There's no such book. Oh, my God. What? Oh, uh, go on. Here, I'll find a website for you. I'll find a website, too. Okay. Website race. It's Barnes & Noble. I'm, I can't go on the computer right now. But... Oh, 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 excuses, excuses. You can go uh, on Barnes & Noble. I can't go on the computer. It's a real book, but I can't go on Barnes & Noble right now. I'm going to go to barnesandnoble.com. All right, I'm, uh, boop, boop. I'm there. Now, what is the name of the book? The Encyclopedia of Heavy Metal. The Encyclopedia of Heavy Metal. Who's it by? Um, I don't know. It's like Daniel Buzzkapan or... Daniel... I'm not sure how it's spelled. Oh, well, it's just go, we're, just go, we're just going with the Encyclopedia Heavy Metal. Okay, fine. Daniel something. Guess what just came up? What? There is no such book as the Encyclopedia what? of Heavy Metal. That is not true. May we advise some other books? He the Encyclopedia of Heavy Metal. Daniel Buck. Spell his last name. It's like, I'm not sure if the third letter is an H or K. It's like B U K Z P. Well, because so you know why you're not. You know why you're not sure? Because you made the name up. You're, I did not. You're not sure why the fictional name. You're just not sure how to spell oh, it. Oh my god! Because you're making it up. Would you like me to read the Aerosmith column? You want to know what? What? Weren't you the one who wanted to hear Wiggy Malmsteen? Yeah. Why? You wanted to hear me play some Wiggy Malmsteen, right? If that's how you pronounce it, yes. I actually, I actually have a column in here by him. That's where I got his name from. You want to know what we're gonna do, young man? What? Hold on one second. Got to back announce the records first. You mind? Give me a second. Okay. Back announce the music we just heard. Do you want me to read the 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 column on the Wiggy Wiggy Malmsteen? Hold on one second. I got to tell everybody the music we just heard. I heard a new band called Hank Four. The Hank Four out of uh, San Francisco. They've got an EP out on their own label, Hank Four label. We heard Hole in My Eye. That's good stuff from them. Ah, the birds before that, the Notorious Bird Brothers album. We heard Natural Harmony from that album where uh, it's got the fantastic cover where uh, we got uh, David Crosby uh, got kicked out of the group or, or left the group. And it's a picture of them in a... Uh, in a, uh, in, a, uh, in a stable, and instead of uh, David Crosby, there's a horse sticking his head out of the one window. And you know the other funny thing? The horse smelled better. <laughs> oh, David Crosby. The River City Tan Lines before that. Hot, hot, hot group featuring Alicia, formerly of the Lost Sounds. We heard time to get right. And starting us off, the Dirty Faces from their album Super American, we heard Nosedive from them. That is on the Bra label. Now go ahead with your little, uh, the, your, you, the, we, uh, what did I ask you to do, young man? Who, me? Yes, you. The rock. Things. You were going to teach us about rock. Not really teach, but more recite about the bands. Honestly, I I did not make up this book. This book has Marilyn Manson in it. You think I would oh, honestly oh, put him in? Oh, oh that, that, that's got to be real. That's got to be real then. It's got Marilyn Manson in it. I, I can't stand that guy. I mean, they have uh, people in here that... Is that guy, of... is that even a guy, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Have you ever seen, here, if you look on the internet, it's like a sick picture of him. It's uh, the album cover for Mechanical Animal. Yeah, I don't want to hear about it. All bad dreams. 
you ever have bad dreams about Marilyn Manson? Not yet. You will tonight. Oh, no. You're going to dream that he's climbing through your window. Okay. You are. You know why? It's worse than Freddy. Because I just planted that in your head now. Great. So tell us. Now, I asked you to teach us about rock music. Yeah. To impart us with some knowledge. Now, you're going to teach us tonight about the band Aerosmith. Okay, let me flip in the book. But you're just going to read from a book? Well, no, not necessarily going to. Oh, no, not necessarily because the book doesn't exist. Oh, my God. The book exists. Would you like to hear the pages flipping by? Oh yeah, because because uh, of course that couldn't be a uh, <laughs> it couldn't be any other book. Oh my god! It would have to be the book that uh, that you're saying it is. You know what? Actually, though, I actually have a book here. I want to uh, to, to get it. Hold on one second, young man. I have a book right here. It's uh, it's about it's about you. It's by Daniel Buzkapan, and it's called uh, Mac is a Liar. Oh my God! No, no, it's really here. Listen. Come on, this is like. Yeah, so... no, I'm flipping through the book. You hear it? Why what? are you being so evil and like calling me a liar? Just read about Aerosmith. We want to learn. Teach us. Okay. Oh, wise one. Um, there. Well, all the band members from uh, Jim Jimmy Crespo, who was on guitars, whose albums Night in the Ruts through Rockin' in a Hard Place, Rick Duffy, whose guitars Rockin' a Hard Place, just that album, Tom Hamilton, who's bass throughout the entire band, same with Joey Kramer on drums and Steven Tyler on vocals, Joe Perry, his guitars, lead guitar, Aerosmith on um, the album through Live, um, Bootleg. What, who, you didn't talk about the, the singer, though. I'm getting to him. Uh, Aer- Done With Mirrors and Later. And then Brad Whitford is guitarist, Aerosmith through Night in the Ruts and Done With Mirrors and Later. Yes, yeah, Steven Tyler is notorious for uh, drug use, basically snorting uh, kibasa thick lines of cocaine to uh, change the band's effect in the way that it was not entirely positive. Now, who is, uh, wait, who's, who, you just mentioned who, Steve Ty, who is that? Steve Tyler. Who's that? He's the singer for Aerosmith. He's the one that's always like, who, who's the really wide mouth, he's all skinny. Well, who, what, who's the guy, other guy, though? Who's Aerosmith, though? This, is, well, I thought Aerosmith he was the is singer. Just the band of the, is this the name of the band? Well, no, it's the name of the singer. No, no, Steve Tyler's the name of the singer. Aerosmith was, come, came, um, the name for that was Come Up by Joey Kramer while pay, playing a game of Scrabble. They were either going to call it Song Smith or Aerospace, but they decided Aerosmith. But isn't that, isn't that the, I thought the guy's name was Arrow Smith. It's no, the not? the guy's name is Steven Tyler. He's a mm-hmm. really tall one, Steven Tyler and uh, uh-huh. Joe Perry, the Toxic Twins. Uh-huh. Yeah, them. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's who that is? Yeah. I, I really thought his name was Arrow Smith. No. And there's drug use? Yeah, no, they're notorious for drug use, especially, especially like cocaine and um, heroin. Really? Yeah. Like, it's just like an, it's it's like Motley Crue without the huge stage show. So it's not as good as Motley Crue. Well, I don't know by that. I, it depends on your opinion, but it's it. They're basically just Motley Crue. They take all the drugs. They just. So, it, so it, these guys kind of ripped off so. Motley Crue a little bit. I don't know. It, it depends on what you think, but. Do you think that Aerosmith ripped off Motley Crue? Well. A little bit. I don't know, yeah, because um, cause Motley Crue, actually, no, Motley Crue started after Aerosmith. I think Motley Crue actually ripped Aerosmith off a little bit. Oh, a, da- a daring a daring uh, uh, accusation. Yeah, I mean, Aerosmith was playing, I don't know, they started playing like... Um, we got somebody who wanted to call and talk to you, Mac. Hey, you're on the air. All right. Hello? Hello? Caller? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, you had a question for Mac? Uh, it's, it's Jimmy Crespo. It's Jimmy Crespo? Yeah. yeah what, what? This is actually Jimmy Crespo from yeah. Aerosmith? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? Who, who's, this, who's this little chump? He's doing a, a really kind of like a book report on Aerosmith. Well, did I hear him uh, say that we were doing cocaine? 
You sound like Philly Boy Roy. I don't know what you're talking about. Were you, you were doing, well, yes, he was I saying. I wasn't. Maybe this kid's on cocaine. I ain't on cocaine. I'm a 13-year-old. Well, you, I know a lot of guys. It's made up calls. You sound like Philly Boy Roy. I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't Jimmy Crespo. Well, ask him a question. Yeah. Jimmy Crespo's dead. Do you want to know anything about Flame? That was the first band I was in. Jimmy Crespo's Flame. dead. Flame. Jimmy Crespo had, is... a band, had an album called Queen of the Neighborhood. Jimmy Crespo's dead. Jimmy Crespo is not dead. Jimmy Crespo is dead. <laughs> really? Well, that's news to me. I, I, I think we're talking to him right now, yeah. young man. Oh, my God. What do you want to know about Night in the Ruts or Rick Dufay? Okay, uh, I'll ask you, you something. Quit, quit, quiz Rick this, All right, okay, okay, okay. If you're, if you're from Aerosmith, what is the, the number one top-selling album that Aerosmith ever put out? Gosh, well, I'm sure I wasn't on it. Uh, I'll guess uh, Toys in the Attic or Rocks. Wrong. Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits. Um, and, um... Well, that's an unfair question. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How many... If you, you should know this. Obviously, if you're really Jimmy Crespo. How many... About how many albums... Or uh, you, units sold? How you're many albums did Aerosmith sell? Let me say that first. How many units did Aerosmith sell? Units? <laughs> Who are you, Clive Davis? <laughs> how, how, how many CDs? Are, CDs? You know, I'm not going to say CDs, tapes, and records, and stuff like that. How many, how many uh, albums Co say did copies. Aerosmith sell? Of what? Anything. Uh, all, of, their all their albums. All their albums. Of, uh, I mean, you should know Michael that. Russell if you ever went uh, multi-platinum or something. Of a what? If you ever went multi-platinum, how many units did Aerosmith sell about? Of, of what album? Uh, like totally? No, all of them. Like oh, geez, uh, sixty-two million. Holy crap! Yeah, that's sixty. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, just about. It's really actually sixty-three point five well, million. Well, there you go. See who's laughing now? Schmuck. <laughs> what? How many pull-ups can you do? What? When I was thirteen, I could do seventy-four pull-ups. <laughs> what are you talking about? What were you doing, crystal meth in those days? Maybe. Why? Oh, my God. So what's your favorite uh, track that I played on, son? What's what? What's your favorite track that I played on? I don't listen to you. I you thought don't you like Crespo? <laughs> I thought you liked Aerosmith. Yeah, right? I did, too. I don't know. I don't pay attention. Well, Mac, why don't you... Uh... See, this, there you... was an article in the in, in New York Times this past Sunday about how kids are too lippy. Yeah, it's a yeah. perfect example of that. I don't know, like, what albums you're in, because I... You know, oh, there were... Okay, okay, okay. If you're in really Jimmy Crespo, what are the only two albums that you played in? I played on uh, uh, Night in the Ruts. I played ro uh, Rock in a Hard Place. Or did you just hear that because I said that in the beginning? No, because I played on the records. Which... Oh, my God, this is, like, yep. messed up. Yeah, I, th I think you're kind of getting put in your place now, Mac. Oh, you're yeah. a little quick to. Oh yeah, yeah. Why don't you, Mac? Mac uh, is a, a what budding. Is stupid name. Let me just say. What is Mac? The stupid name. Yeah. Why? That's not my real name. What is it? Well, oh, it's not my is full it? name. <laughs> it's what? It's not my full name. <laughs> I would say, Mac, you are a uh, budding rock fan, are you not? A what? Um, uh, you're a, you're a I, budding... I agree with the first uh, syllable of budding. You're looking... You're a, you're an up-and-coming rock fan. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? I mean, you're what a you young mean? guy. Do, do you go to school? What? You don't seem to know what any of the words are that Tom is saying. You're, you're somebody... You're young, right? Yeah, I'm 13. A and you're growing up. Uh-huh. And you're looking to be a rock fan. I've always been interested in rock. I'm not listening to no Backstreet Boy crap. Whoa. Jeepers. Yeah. So you now Go you back. So now you got uh now you got a rock guy, Jimmy Crespo on the phone. Why don't you ask him uh, about rock and roll? Ask yeah. him ask him you wanted to know who was the guy you wanted to know about? Who? The guitarist. Malmsteen? Yeah. What about Malmsteen? You wanted to know. Do you ask ask him if he knows uh, what was? How did you say Wiggy Malmsteen? I was almost gonna go to a concert. They had like a ticket sweepstakes. Like I almost won for a Malmsteen concert. 
For uh, musiciansfriend.com. Oh, you don't want to go see that guy. He's totally bald. I know. He's, like, old now. He's, like, he's totally bald. He always was bald. No, he wasn't. Not like J.C. Are you bald now? No. I got some transplants. Why? Yeah, I should go play some, like, old Saxon records right now. Saxon? Those guys were turkeys. <laughs> so what do you want to know about Done With Mirrors? Who? Done With Mirrors. I didn't actually play on that. That was the album that Joe played on when he came back. Okay. Do you know who Joe is? Perry? Oh, good, Joe. A good boy. Okay. Um, What year did you uh, collaborate with uh, Run DMC? I wasn't involved in that. You weren't? No. That was that was long ago. I mean, I'm looking at a picture of that right now. You're like... Whoa. That was Joe and uh, and Steven. Too much cocaine. Too much cocaine. For you, maybe. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, Tyler and Perry looks like they take. So what kind of stuff are you into? Speed. What kind of uh, answer the man's question, Mac? What would he say? No. You have to speak up. I can't hear you. What kind of stuff talking are you into? Quiet. He asked, "What kind of stuff you're into?" I don't know. Mostly like metal. Like what? I don't know. Slayer. Slayer. That's, that stuff's terrible. That's like noise. What? That's almost as bad as MDC and uh, and Discharge. How old are you? Excuse me. How old are I'm you 52. now? Fifty-two. You, Jimmy Crespo. Yeah. Or so called. I'm fifty-two. Why? You're fifty-two. You. S- you need to put down the metal and get into some real hardcore stuff like like what? Like Rob I Zombie. Said, MDC, ba- Black Flag, Circle Jerks. Rob Zombie. Oh, terrible. Mainstream. <laughs> I just bought a new CD of him. Ugh. Van Halen. You need to get into the Vandals. ACDC. Ugh. Okay, passable. Soundgarden. Ugh. Scorpions. Bad Metal. Samson. Joe Satriani. Rush. Tools. What? What do Is you want from me? Ramstein? Oh, Rainbow? Don't talk, okay. what? I'll, I'll just stop talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mac, you, you show no respect to the guy. Sure sounds a lot like Philly Boy Roy. Well, it's not. I thought we made that clear. The guy answered all your questions to the, you know, uh, right on the button. Okay, then. And are you going to ask him a question like a, like a respectful young man, or are you going to be rude? Oh, my God. Hey, back. What? Before I answer any question you got for me, I want you to put a necktie on. What? A necktie. Oh, have a necktie. And a suit jacket. What? And I want you to slick your hair back in respect to me. Who do you want me to look like, Rob Halford? Who's a pretty cool guy. You never met him. You're 13. Open that book to a page, and I bet you uh, Mr. Crespo knows something about somebody on that page. Okay, uh... See here. Should I just say the person's name? Sure. Terrence Lee. Who? Terrence Lee. I have no idea who that is. What's is he in a band? Yeah. What's the band called? Pantera. Oh, see that's new. That's that new crap. Okay, I'll go to an older stuff. Let's see. All right, all right, okay. This should be easier. Um, Joe Elliott. Uh, you know, Joe, Joe Elliott kind of, he, he pulled one out of his butt on uh, for photograph, and that kind of saved that record. Beyond that, he's he's uh, he's hopeless. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Tommy Bolin, what band? Tommy Bolin was in, uh, he wasn't in Argent, was he? What? Argent? No, what, like, famous band was Tommy Bolin Oh, in? he was in The Sweet. Huh? The Sweet? Oh, he's in Deep Purple. Oh, Deep Purple. I hated those guys. Those guys gave me the worst wedgie I've ever gotten. You hate everybody but you. No, don't all you? I like is the Aerosmith stuff I played on and a lot of early 80s hardcore. Oh, my God. Why? Who do you want me to do? One of the guys from Cheap Trick or whatever? Oh, uh, like John Brandt? Who? John Brandt. Cheap Trick, let me see. What about Pete Comita? You don't even know who those guys are, do you? Oh, yeah. John, uh, he was in uh, one on one through the Doctor and Silver. The Doctor. Underrated yeah. record. 
What about Pete Kamita? What do you know about him, son? Who? Pete Kamita. Uh, he played bass for Cheap Trick, too. So you don't even know your science. You don't like, know your science. All the people on che- uh, Cheap Trick was like science. John Brandt, Bunny Carlos, Eric Nielsen, Tom Peterson, and Robin Zander. All right, question for you. What? Who's, who's Matthias Jabs? Who? Matthias Jabs. I don't know. He's in the Scorpions. Who I thought was your favorite band, the way you were talking. Oh, yeah, the Scorpions with, uh, what's his name, uh, Rudolph or whatever. Schenker. Yeah, that's it. Pretty cool guy. Gave him a wedgie once. Did you ever meet Herman Rarebell? Who? I did. I, I, I don't know all these people. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Like oh. German. oh, I had to hang up on that kid. Oh, I liked him a lot. Uh, when I, I said I liked him a lot, I meant that I hated him.